My uncle did me for 2.5 years when I was 6 years old. I am now 22 years old. How can I put this behind me or is it too late to get justice? I'm a female and this happened from the age of 6. I'm 22 now. My parents worked a lot during the summer. So they left me and my brothers at my uncle's house because his children, my cousins, are about the same age as us. My uncle was usually home by early afternoon because he worked early hours and my aunt, who is his wife and my dad's sister, worked crazy hours at the hospital so she was always home late. My cousins had piano lessons every day in the summer. When they'd go to piano lessons, my brothers would go outside to play ball or swim. I was usually left alone in the house watching television. The memory of the first time he molested me is forever engraved in my brain. I was wearing this ugly pink paisley skort and a white muscle tank. He dropped his kids off at piano lessons and came home. My brothers were outside playing and I was inside watching TV when he turned it off and asked me to come into his room. Being six years old. I didn't think anything of it. So I went with him. We went into the room and he left the light off. He sat me down on the bed and pulled the blanket over us and that's when he pulled my skirt off and started molesting me. The summer passed and things became routine, his kids go to piano lessons. My brothers play outside. He takes me to his room. I feel so stupid thinking about how I let this go on for so long. Anyway. The summer ended and school started. I thought I'd spend less time at his house because we usually went to my grandma's house after school. My brother liked to play at his house. So they insisted we go there after school. The harassment continued. It became so casual for him that he started doing it in front of other people. Obviously when they weren't looking, I would sit in his living room with everyone watching TV. When no one was looking, he would come up to me and put his hands down my trousers and rub my privates. I was six years old and not even developed in the chest department. But he loved rubbing my nipples. He would take us to swimming lessons and be our chaperone. I remember my brothers and cousins swimming in the deep end and me in the shallow end in my two-piece. He sat next to me in the water and put his hand down my shorts in a public pool. The harassment went on for a few months. I didn't think anything of it because I was so young and stupid. But for some reason one day we were in his room and he was touching my private parts. But I really wanted to be outside playing with my brothers. I asked him if I could leave and that I didn't want to do it anymore. I started to ask myself why do I always have to go into his room with him. He got so angry with me and pushed me under the sheets and said that if I ever told anyone he would hurt me. After shouting at me, he was still holding me down, he kissed me and stuck his tongue in my mouth and that's when I knew something was wrong. I was so scared and afraid of him that I felt I couldn't do or say anything. The molestation had been going on for over a year now, and by then he wasn't enjoying it. So he raped me. I remember he tried to put his penis in me, but I was in so much pain that I started to cry. So he stopped. He didn't try again after that. But he continued to molest me. When he stopped, I was eight years old and I was tired of being afraid to go to his house because I knew what would happen to me. I was sitting on the bathroom floor while my older brother was getting ready for bed. And that's when I decided to pour my heart out to him. I told him when it started what had happened and that I wanted it to stop. My brother was only two years older than me, so I don't think he could quite process it. But he knew it wasn't right. So he dragged me out of the bathroom and made me tell my parents. Ooh, I remember my parents' reactions so well, my mum was so heartbroken she was crying and holding me and my dad was so angry. He went straight to their house and confronted my aunt, my uncle's wife my dad's sister. My aunt asked my dad if he was sure I wasn't exaggerating. If I hadn't mistaken it for a game of wrestling. Of course my parents believed me. My mum was so angry that my aunt didn't believe me. She broke off relations with the whole family. My father was angry for a long time and became very distant from his sister. I am forever grateful to my parents for never doubting me and immediately removing me from a toxic situation. My parents made me get tested for HIV AIDS and I went to therapy for a few months. I don't think the therapy did much for me. It just made me relive my worst nightmare every time I talked to my therapist. I remember being so young and feeling like damaged goods. 
I struggled to love myself for a long time. I was constantly disgusted with myself. Like, how could I be so stupid and not say anything for 2.5 years? I was angry with myself. I hated myself. I hated my body. The whole situation really affected me. I am 22 years old now and I still cry every time I talk about it. I have still not been able to move on. I'm scared to be around older men I don't know trust. I get anxious just being alone in a lift with a man. I remember going to a training course in a restaurant at 8am. I thought to myself. Wait. The restaurant doesn't open until 11am? Am I going to train alone with this male manager? I remember having an anxiety attack in my room. Crying and considering not even going. When I look back on the situation. I think. Why didn't my parents tell the police? Why does he get to live his life while I suffer inside? I think my parents didn't want to bring this to light because they were afraid of what others would think if people in our community found out. I don't blame my parents for not doing more. But I really wish they had. I think I was able to suppress it for so long. But as I got older I realized the seriousness of the situation and how I was being mistreated. I get very angry and have so much hostility inside me sometimes that I don't know how to channel it. I hate that I'm going to have this memory for the rest of my life. I'm afraid to bring a child into this disgusting world. Knowing firsthand how damaging and fucked up it is. I can't imagine what I would do if that happened to my child. In the last five to seven years my dad and my aunt have started to rebuild a relationship. I'm not sure if my dad has forgiven my uncle for what he did and my aunt for not believing me. But I certainly haven't. My aunt tries to overcompensate by giving me a shitload of cash every chance she gets. My mum is totally on my side and doesn't give a shit about this disgusting family. So my question now is. How can I heal from this? If I take this to court. Is it too late to get justice? Will they be able to prove that he abused and raped me if I testify against him in court? I don't even know what the legal process is and where to start. I know that I will never forgive him for what he has done to me. I truly wish him nothing but the worst. He ruined my childhood and left me emotionally scarred. There are so many times I want to confront him and shout at him and just ask why? Why me? I can sympathize. My abuser was my father and almost all of the really bad stuff he did was repressed until I was in my 30s. I always knew I was abused because of my symptoms and behavior. But I didn't understand how extensive and violent it was until I started therapy in my 30s. My family is not very supportive, their reactions range from, denial, saying they believe me but didn't know, saying they feel sorry for me but don't want to talk about it. My father has been dead for a long time. While that's a good thing for the safety of my family and others. It has left me with no one to confront or blame. I've really struggled with that. It's very unfair that he didn't have to face any consequences for his crimes and that most people act as if their memory of him is that he was a great guy. Some days I wish he was alive so I could get revenge. Or try to get justice. The reality is that there's nothing I could do at this point that would make it fair. That would make it right. Some people have suggested I write a letter to him, which I obviously can't send. I fantasized about taking out a full-page ad in his hometown paper. Exposing him as a pedophile. A child abuser. A rapist. What helped this week, although the process was a bit triggering, was looking at the criminal code for the state we live in and realizing that if I'd been able to get help, have evidence and get him convicted, he would have been in prison for the rest of his life. They feel good to think about. But none of them really help me. Your situation may feel different because your uncle is alive and free. But even seeing justice would not undo what was done to you. So I agree with the suggestion to try therapy again. My first therapist was awful. But I didn't realize how terrible she was until I saw someone else. Unfortunately, it took a crisis and a psychotic break for me to change therapists. I've made so much progress since then. If therapy isn't working or is causing you ongoing distress, 
Discuss these concerns with the therapist and if they are dismissive. Find another therapist. I wish I'd started dealing with this stuff a lot sooner. Stuffing these memories and feelings down will not make them go away.